Hey guys, welcome back to this video from the BTNHD, and yes, uh, part one of my huge mini series that I'm going to do with you guys, and it's all about MDT 2013 update one preview and deploying Windows 10. So in part one, guys, it's really simple. This is like the installation part. Uh, I downloaded the ADK setup application that's going to support our Windows deployment and our Windows Deployment Toolkit 2013 64-bit which is the update preview one and I'm actually running everything on a Windows Server 2012 standard and um, what I've done so far I made this machine an Active Directory and I'm running DNS uh, you could have uh, MDT on a different box that's not attached to Active Directory or DNS Meaning you can have uh, different servers running di all these services individually, but I'm doing everything in one box just to consolidate everything for this video series. So I'm going to close this up because I don't really need to have server manager. And the first thing that you guys need to do to prep up your machine is install your ADK stuff. Now this process will take forever, so let's double click on it. And once I double click on it, uh, it's going to actually locate all the files on the server side on Microsoft so this application is not the whole package so you're gonna get this uh, install the Windows assessment and deployment kit Windows 10 to this computer yes this is what we want uh, if you want you can relocate this to uh, another partition but I'm gonna keep everything kind of simple and keep it into the C drive uh, the XMA disk space is actually 3.4 gigs Will that's pretty big Again, if you guys are building your MDT server from the ground up, make sure that you have enough space to capture your images, uh, have your application deployments and all that custom settings because we are going to be doing that throughout the series. So let's click on next. Uh, join the customer experience, which is the CEIP. I never do this. I'm going to click on no. Let's click on next. Uh, you can read this if you have time and I'm just going to accept it. Why not? and this is where all the goodies now by default you're gonna get the deployment tools Windows pre-installation environment which is the Windows PE uh, right yep Windows PE which is gonna support uh, Windows PE 86 and 64 uh, you get to get the imaging and configuration designer which is the ICD which this is pretty awesome and uh, user state migration tools if you guys are doing that whole profile migration into a new de um, your new deployment for the user and you got your Windows Performance Toolkit which is pretty awesome now you can actually install Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Express on the spot but I'm gonna do that in a later video because I want to install the latest one which is 2014 uh, if you want to do some volume activation and management tools you could do that with from PowerShell. I will do that in the later on video for you guys if you're interested, uh, which I am not going to take care of that on this video. But if you guys are interested on that, on the at and the VMT, uh, let me know. I will take care of those two things on separate videos. So let's click on install. Again, this process takes forever uh, because it's, it's huge. You're actually pulling down into your machine about 3.4 gigs of information of goodness to get your MDT stuff up and running. Again, the first step that you guys need to do is you need to download your Windows Assessment and Deployment Toolkit for Windows 10 within your deployment box because uh, if you start your MDT uh, application, if you start this first, it's not going to work properly. So I'm going to let this run and I catch you guys once this is completed. Yes, and it's finally completed guys. Our Windows Assessment Deployment Kit for Windows 10 has completed successfully. Awesome. So what we're going to do is going to close this up. There you go. And we are going to double click on our Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2013 X64 because this environment that I'm running everything is going to be on a 64 bit. So let's double click on this and it's going to run the installer as you can see it is the update one and we're going to click on next we're going to accept the license agreement and we're going to click on next i'm going to leave the default as c but you guys could change it as you want i would recommend changing it to maybe the d drive but for now i'm going to leave it on the c drive so let's click on next 
Uh, I don't want to participate on this program, so let's next and install. Now the process is really simple and really fast. So and there you go, it's really fast. Let's hit finish, and I'm going to remove these two files away because I don't need them anymore. Let's go inside our start, and as you can see, we have a bunch of new nice little tools. We got a Imaging and Configuration Designer, which has the nice little Windows 10 logo. And the one that we need is our Deployment Workbench. So I'm going to right click on this and I want to pin that to the taskbar because that's very important for us. And let's go back to our desktop and we are going to click on that shortcut of our Deployment Workbench. Awesome. Once it's up and running and you receive no type of errors, this is a great thing. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a deployment share. As you can see, we do not have a deployment share at all. You have a bunch of other stuff inside the information since the node, uh, which kind of guides you of how to do things like LTI deployment, a ZTI deployment, and all that stuff. This is the whole point of me doing these videos for you guys anyway. So what we're going to do is click on our deployment share node. You're going to right click. You're going to do a new, a new deployment share. Once that new deployment share wizard pops up, you give it a nice little location. I'm going to keep everything as default, which is the C drive. I kind of recommend dropping everything in a partition, so it's up to you. So let's uh, click on next. Uh, our deployment share, I'm going to keep it the same as deployment share dollar sign. Click on next. Description name, uh, I'm going to keep it as this. Click on next. Now options, when performing deployments, the behavior of the deployment wizard can be customized by turning various wizard pans on and off. And for those that are not desired, modify the default below as appropriate. So I don't want uh, computer backup should not be performed. Uh, don't ask for part of key because we're not going to do that that way. Uh, ask if the image should be captured, no. And BitLocker, no. So I'm going to uncheck all that stuff and click on next get yourself a nice little summary click on next and if everything goes well inside our C drive you should see a nice little deployment share folder so let's go there it goes awesome and it's completed so let's hit finish and once that's finished let's expand our MDT deployment share node and look at all the goodness again is everything is empty no operating system, no out of box stuff, no packages, no task sequences, no nothing. Uh, so I'm super excited. And this is how you install your MDT 2013 Update 1 Preview for a Windows 10 Technical Preview deployment. And that's it, guys, for part one. Part two, I'm going to go over a little bit of operating system importing inside your MDT. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget about hitting that like button and leave comments right below. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.